Immortalized by the poet Kalidas in Meghdut, this verse to the valley that is famous throughout the world as the Valley of Flowers. Garhwal is situated in the northwestern region of the state of Uttar Pradesh. The Valley of Flowers is an exquisite jewel of this area, set in the district of Chamoli. The ancient Hindu texts, the Puranas, refer to this valley as Nandan Kanan, the garden of Lord Indra. located in a region that is acclaimed for its beauty and known as the abode of the gods. To the north of the Valley of Flowers, often hidden from view by the clouds, are the snow-clad peaks of the central Himalayan mountains. In the west flows Alakananda, the main tributary of the river Ganga. On its banks, at a height of 3,110 meters, is the temple of Badrinath. This sacred temple is one of India's four major pilgrim centers. Yet another famous pilgrimage center of Garhwal is Kedarnath Temple, situated at a height of 3,584 meters against the backdrop of the Kedarnath Range. Emerging forcefully from their birthplace in the Himalayas are the gigantic Vasudhara Falls, eight kilometers away from Badrinath. These famed falls hurtle thunderously from a breathtaking height of 145 meters, scattering icy droplets of water as they descend. Further northwards, 39 kilometers away from the Valley of Flowers, stands Garhwal's premier ancient town, Joshimat. Earlier called Kartikepur, this town was renamed in the 8th century by the saint Shankaracharya. The saint established a monastery, Jyotirmat, and the town came to be called Joshimat. In order to preserve the pristine beauty of this area, the motorable road ends at Govindkat. Cut. 
Beyond this, a steep and narrow path runs along the river Lakshman Ganga. This path is 19 kilometers long. Cutting across dense forests of pine trees and deodar, this path leads to Hemkund, considered a paradise on earth. Situated six kilometers from Gangaria. The ancient name of Hemkund was Lokpal Jhil. The revered shrine of the Sikhs, Gurdwara Sri Hemkund Sahib, is built near this pool. A glacier forms a natural bridge at Bamanighat. This is the only entrance to the valley. Carving out a path for itself under this glacial bridge is the river Pushpavati. At a height of nearly 10,000 feet, the entrance of the valley is lined with birch trees. Before the invention of paper, ancient manuscripts were written on the barks of these trees. For this reason, they are called birch or bhoj patras. Our knowledge of our ancient literature, history and religion has been handed down to us through the treaties written on the barks of these trees. The valley is snowbound from September to almost April. The rainy season lasts from May to August. Yet, despite inclement weather, tourist traffic continues unhampered. The valley is surrounded by a train of mountains. Due to their high altitude and snow cover, these peaks have no vegetation. Facing the valley is the Rajbara peak. To the north is the highest peak, Comet Mountain, at an altitude of 7,756 meters. In the east is Gauri Peak, and towards the west, the Nilgiri and other mountain ranges. 
At this altitude, this is the only valley in the world with a variety of nearly 2,500 flowers of 300 species. It is situated 3,658 meters to 3,962 meters above sea level. The valley spreads over a distance of 10 kilometers in length. The width varies between two to three kilometers. As one progresses further into the valley, the slope decreases and the flat land increases. This valley was introduced to the modern world in 1931 by Frank Smith. After successfully scaling Comet Peak, he chanced upon this valley. The radiating floral fragrance drew him towards the valley. The splendor of the flowers in bloom caught him unawares, and he burst out spontaneously. Others will visit it, analyze it, and probe it. But whatever their opinions, to me, it will remain the valley of flowers, a valley of peace and perfect beauty, where the human spirit find repose. The valley holds a special attraction for botanists and naturalists. From a distance, the valley resembles a field of grass. It is only when one draws nearer, one notices the flowers. The reason for this is that flowers of pale colors are more in number, and they blend with the green color of the grass. In this valley, the myriad flowers that bloom are a botanist delight. Selenium tunicolium. The yellow-colored liguana flowers are found in abundance. These miniature bananas are the petals of the geranium flower. Among these banks of flowers, the Bistorta microphylla has its own unique beauty. Wafting in the gentle breeze is the fragrance of Brahm Kamal, or the flower of the gods. With the rising sun, their almond-shaped petals open out, and with the sunset, they fold in again. Worshippers in the region have given these flowers a sublime status. All religious ceremonies in the temples commence with an offering of these blooms. they are green in color. In June, they change to blue. In July, the color is red. In August, the predominant color is yellow. Just as the colors change, the lifespan of these flowers is also from May to August. In this short period, they germinate and sprout, blossom into flowers, and produce seeds. These seeds are scattered in the earth around them, and soon, buried under a cover of snow. In the following May, with the onset of the rains and the melting of the snow, they sprout and bloom again. The flowers fade away and bloom again with such precision, it seems, that nature itself had enveloped them in a mantle of self-preservation. Apart from their aesthetic beauty that paints the valley with delight, these flowers have medicinal value. 
practitioners of the Ayurvedic system of medicines have recognized and acknowledged their importance since the time of the Vedas. Since time immemorial, the butterflies and the bees have played an important role in the propagation of flowers. Despite the altitude and the biting cold, they continue their role in this valley. Each opening flower reminds us of the lines written by the national poet Ramdhari Singh Dinkar. They are like the stars of the earth or nature's glossy strand of pearls. Like a garden of lights or glowworms of the day, they are like the delicate eyes of the forest, like the distant stars in the sky, or like the shells of a limitless sea. Not gods, we are but humans. Therefore, you are, O oh love, the lights of this earth, with no sorrows of the past, nor any worry of the future. In the valley, with you, God has created this magnificent state. An unchecked flow of tourists has taken its toll in the valley. The profuse flowering of these blossoming blooms has been affected. And as nature does not proceed by leaps, this valley was declared a protected international biosphere reserve in 1989. The abode of the gods, this valley of flowers has been bequeathed to us. We must save it as it is our inheritance. <laughs>